Hello, and welcome to the first of two tutorials on searching EBSCOhost databases made available by the Pennsylvania Power Library. My name is Lauren, and I will be your research guide. We are really lucky in Pennsylvania to have a wealth of databases made available to every resident. All you need is either a library card from your home library or an e-card via the Pennsylvania Power Library website in order to access these resources. So let's get started. Here we are at the PA Power Library website, www.powerlibrary.org. There are two ways to go about finding e-resources, using the guided Help Me Choose button or selecting the list of all resources. We are going to view the list in order to see everything that is available to us. As you can see, there are a variety of databases available for finding high quality information, whether it's a journal or magazine article, newspaper coverage, or an encyclopedia entry. Many of these resources are owned by a company called EBSCOhost, and since they are owned by the same company, they have a very similar look and setup on the main search screen. Let's take a look at Academic Search Main Edition to see what I mean. At the top of the screen, you will see a set of search bars. You can string together terms here in different ways, but we'll go over that in the next video. For now, let's just see what happens when we search for the term polar bears. As you can see, if you choose not to select a field, as the drop-down menu to the right suggests, your search is a basic keyword search. This will usually give back a lot of search results, some useful, some not. By switching where you search for your terms, such as all text, author, title, subject terms, and many more, you can expand or narrow the number of results. Another way to narrow your search is by the type of information you want. You will find these options a little lower on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you can limit your search by source type, such as newspaper, journal, or magazine, when the information was published with the publication date slider, or to full text only, so you can read the entire result right now. These are just a few different ways to get the most out of your database research. I hope you will join me for the next video in which we will cover different ways to string together search terms. It's important to remember that research takes time, and not everything is available on the internet. However, with the Power Library databases at your disposal and some good search strategies, you can get the information you need faster. Thanks for listening and happy searching.